If you are going to another city, would you walk or would you take a bus or some other transport? Of course, we will take a transport facility because you do not want to spend a lot of time just walking around to maybe reach that city. So, reaching some place is not the only thing that is important. It is also important that how fast you reach there. That is what speed and velocity tell us. How fast is the distance changing? Your answer is speed. How fast is the displacement? And you have your answer as velocity. So let's see what is speed and what is velocity. So we define speed as distance travelled upon time taken. So as distance is dependent on the path, speed is also dependent on the path. So speed depends on path and it takes all other properties of distance as well. That is, it is a scalar quantity without a direction. Then it is also always greater than or equal to zero. Zero is the case when the particle will be at the at rest. So these are the important points about speed. Now speed is of two kinds. The first type is what we call the average speed and the second type is called the instantaneous speed. And let us understand the differences between the two. Imagine that you are riding a bike and it's not a very good bike but this will do I guess. So you are riding this bike and you are going from the point A to another city B and the distance between these two cities is let's call it 70 kilometers. And the time that you take in going from A to B is let's say 2 hours. So from our previous definition, what is the speed at which you were traveling? Speed equals to distance traveled upon time taken. And so your speed would be the distance traveled is 70 kilometers and the time taken is 2 hours and that comes out to be 35 kilometer per hour. But answer this question. Would you always be driving at 35 kilometer per hour or would sometimes your speed increase and sometimes your speed would decrease? Maybe at some time you would stop, take a pee or uh, have some uh, lunch whatever so what this 35 kilometer gives us is the average speed when the time interval is large the value of speed is the average speed and we write it as delta x where delta x is the change in position or the distance traveled upon delta t this is the average speed now tell me at that instant when you were having lunch, what would be your speed? Zero, right? So when we talk about speed at any instant, the time interval is really, really small. And so we say dx, that is the small distance traveled upon dt, that is the small change in time, very small change in time. And that is called the instantaneous speed at any given time. So the needle of your speedometer, what kind of speed it tells us? It tells us the speed right now. So that is the instantaneous speed and not the average speed. Average just gives us a rough idea, not the exact value of the speed. So from now on, when we talk about speed, we will mostly mean the instantaneous speed. Let's talk about velocity now. Here is how we define velocity. V equals to 
displacement upon time so that is the definition of velocity we will use v equals to displacement upon time and as speed is of two types so is velocity the average velocity and the instantaneous velocity so what is average velocity you will call it as total displacement upon total time and so that will be v a v a v stands for average equals to delta x where x is the displacement upon delta t now remember how i told you that displacement is a vector quantity and to write vectors in physics we just draw an arrow mark over the quantity so this arrow means that it is a vector the delta means it is a change and x means it's the position so delta x means displacement and the arrow shows it is a vector therefore velocity will also be a vector and what is instantaneous velocity so for instantaneous velocity we define it as the rate of change in position that is instantaneous displacement upon time and so we write dx upon dt so here is your first important equation v equals to dx upon dt so what are the properties of velocity it is a vector quantity like displacement its si unit is meter per second velocity like displacement can be positive negative or zero zero velocity means that the particle is at rest at that particular instant and we will also have that relation which we had from between distance and displacement remember we wrote distance is always greater than equal to displacement and so distance upon time will be greater than equal to displacement upon time and so we will have speed always greater than equal to velocity and we draw two lines here to indicate that we are talking about the value or magnitude of the velocity not its direction because speed does not have direction and directions can't be compared value wise so in the next video we will take up some examples and understand the applications of the formulas that we have learned so far see you